you're looking at right now is a canvas of a project I designed to test out some fonts that I installed in the system. Now, Explainio comes with lots of really great fonts built in, but you can add fonts. All of these fonts that you're looking at right now on my scene preview are fonts I installed manually uh, that I was able to get on the web for free, and these are great, great, great uh, fonts for display. Um, there are two types of fonts that you use. One is display font and one is, uh, you know, a text font. The display fonts are better used for heads and, and to make things really stand out, and these are really cool. What you need to do is find TTF fonts. Those are true type fonts, and they're available online. You can, you know, Google that and go anywhere. One of my favorite spots to find new fonts is uh, dafont.com, D-A-F-O-N-T. Com, and they have lots and lots of really great fonts that you can get for free. Fancy fonts and uh, gothic fonts, basic fonts, script fonts. I have found a lot of these holiday fonts. Uh, one of the neat things about these, about these fonts is that when you click on a category and you scroll down that category, you'll see exactly what they look like before they download. Now, just as a, uh, you know, as a caution, some of the fonts here are TTF fonts, but they are highly, highly designed like, like this, and those highly designed fonts, you know, are, are not likely to convert well or at all in Explaindio. Um, Explaindio is looking for letters and numbers, uh, so, you know, when you're taking a look, you know, like most of these will be just fine. As long as it's a TTF font, when you download that, you will be good. Um, let me show you how you can do that once you get into Explaindio. Uh, so once you have downloaded the fonts you like, there's a little import button up here. You click on that at the bottom, import the font file. Only TTF types are supported. Browse to the place in your computer in the directory that, where those fonts reside. Select them one at a time and then start import. That will import the typeface into your, into your collection. When you have that in your collection, what you will see, let me open my canvas here and show you something. When you see this, okay, you'll see a list of fonts here. The one that you have selected appears at the top of the list. Underneath the one that's selected is a list of all of the fonts on your system. Default is number one. And then all of the fonts appear in alphabetical order. The fonts you have added to your system over and above the ones that were there already are preceded with two asterisks. So all of the fonts appear in alphabetical order and you can see which ones are system fonts and which fonts are fonts that you installed yourself. But let me close the uh, canvas here and show you one more thing. You may decide in the middle of a project uh, or in the middle of a video that you're creating that you want to add a font. And that's very, very simple because if you're in a scene, you know, go to the text button here, all right, and there's another button here that you can click to import a font that will open the same same selection tool that we had before and you go through the same operation and that is that. Um, again, this is really, really good. Go to defont.com, TTF, and that is the scoop on font selection.